ever wonder why some countries seem to roll their eyes when tourists like you and me show up? Well, get ready because I'm about to dive into the real reasons why these places are just not that into us. In a world that thrives on global tourism, you'd think every country would welcome visitors with open arms, right? Wrong. There are destinations where being a tourist feels more like being an intruder, and today I'm taking you behind the scenes to uncover why. From first-hand encounters that left me questioning whether I should have even booked my flight to eye-opening stats that reveal how some nations are actively discouraging visitors, this video is your ultimate guide to the places where tourists are anything but wanted. We're talking about countries where the local sentiment is so strong that it has shaped strict regulations, created unwelcoming environments, and even sparked anti-tourism movements. By the end of this video, you'll not only know which countries to steer clear of, but also understand the deep-rooted reasons behind this global phenomenon. Trust me, you won't want to miss a second of this. 1. Bhutan Bhutan might be one of the most stunning places on Earth, but it's not exactly rolling out the red carpet for tourists. This small Himalayan kingdom has a strict, high-value, low-impact tourism policy. What does that mean for you? A hefty daily fee just to be in the country. $200 per person per day, and that's before you even factor in food, lodging, or travel. This isn't just a deterrent. It's a conscious effort by the Bhutanese government to preserve their unique culture and environment from the potential harms of mass tourism. You won't find throngs of tourists crowding Bhutan's serene landscapes, and that's exactly how they want it. Bhutan is a place where you'll be more observer than participant, and that's a stark contrast to the typical tourist experience. So, is Bhutan worth the high price of admission? That's for you to decide, but be prepared for an experience that's far from your usual vacation. 2. North Korea If you're thinking about taking a trip to North Korea, you might want to reconsider. This reclusive nation is notorious for its stringent control over who enters and what they see. Tourists are only allowed on guided tours, and these aren't your typical sightseeing trips. Every move you make is monitored, every interaction scripted. You won't have the freedom to explore on your own or interact with locals without supervision. The government's grip on tourism is so tight that many describe the experience as more of a state-run spectacle than an authentic visit. And if you're from the U.S., it's even more complicated. U.S. citizens have been banned from entering North Korea since 2017. This is a place where the line between curiosity and danger is razor thin, and one wrong step can lead to serious consequences. It's no wonder North Korea tops the list of countries where tourists are definitely not welcome. 3. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia has long been known as a closed-off country, particularly when it comes to tourism. While recent reforms have opened the door to international visitors, the reality is that Saudi Arabia isn't exactly rolling out the welcome mat. The country's strict social codes, including a dress code for women and restrictions on public behavior, make it a challenging destination for many tourists. Alcohol is strictly prohibited, and public displays of affection can land you in trouble. For decades, Saudi Arabia only issued visas for religious pilgrimages, and even though things are changing, the country still enforces rules that can be difficult for outsiders to navigate. In 2024, despite efforts to boost tourism, many travelers find the cultural and legal restrictions daunting. It's a place where the modern meets the ancient, but the hospitality you might expect in other destinations isn't quite there. Fourth, Turkmenistan. Turkmenistan is one of the least visited countries in the world, and that's no accident. The government makes it incredibly difficult for tourists to enter, requiring not just a visa, but also an official guide for the duration of your stay. This isn't just for your benefit. It's to ensure that you see only what the government wants you to see. Independent travel is nearly impossible, and the restrictions placed on tourists mean you'll be moving through a carefully curated experience that hides more than it reveals. The country's isolationist policies are reflected in its sparse tourism infrastructure. Don't expect to find the usual amenities or even much in the way of local hospitality. With only about 10,000 tourists visiting each year, Turkmenistan is a place where you'll feel the weight of being an outsider, and that's exactly how they want it. Iran. Iran is a country of contradictions, especially when it comes to tourism. On one hand, it's home to some of the world's most incredible historical sites and natural landscapes. 
On the other, it's a place where political tensions can make you feel anything but welcome. Western tourists, particularly Americans, Brits, and Canadians, face significant restrictions, including the requirement to be part of a guided tour. Solo travel is out of the question, and interactions with locals are often tinged with suspicion due to the strained relations between Iran and the West. Despite the hospitality of many Iranians, the government's strict oversight of tourism and the possibility of arrest for what might be considered minor infractions can make visiting Iran a nerve-wracking experience. It's a destination that offers much, but also demands much from those who venture there. Before we dive into the next country on our list, I want to take a quick moment to remind you, if you're finding this video insightful, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel reach more curious travelers like you. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos that will keep you informed and travel ready. Now let's get back to uncovering the countries where tourists are not exactly welcomed with open arms. 6. Russia Russia has always had a complicated relationship with tourists, but recent geopolitical tensions have made it even more unwelcoming. In 2024, the invasion of Ukraine and subsequent international sanctions have significantly strained relations between Russia and much of the world. As a result, tourists from Western countries are often viewed with suspicion, and the usual warmth associated with Russian hospitality has cooled considerably. Visa requirements are strict, and once you're in the country, you'll likely face scrutiny at every turn, from police checks to restrictions on where you can go. The atmosphere is one of caution and tension, making Russia a challenging destination for even the most adventurous travelers. If you're thinking about visiting Russia, be prepared for an experience that's far from the carefree vacations you might be used to. 7. Yemen Yemen is a country that's been devastated by years of civil war, making it one of the most dangerous places in the world for tourists. The ongoing conflict has led to widespread instability, with kidnappings and attacks on foreigners being real threats. Most governments strongly advise against all travel to Yemen and for good reason, the risks far outweigh the rewards. The country's once vibrant tourism industry has all but disappeared, leaving behind a land that is both physically and emotionally scarred. While Yemen's historical sites and natural beauty are undeniable, the reality is that this is a place where tourists are far from welcome. Even if you were to make it into the country, the constant threat of violence and the lack of infrastructure make it a destination to avoid at all costs. 8. China China might be one of the most visited countries in the world, but that doesn't mean it's always welcoming. In 2024, the Chinese government's increasing surveillance and control over its population have extended to tourists as well. Visitors are closely monitored, and certain topics of conversation, like human rights or political issues, can lead to serious consequences. The Chinese government has made it clear that it's not interested in tourists who want to do more than just see the sights. Visa requirements are getting stricter, and the rules for what you can and can't do in the country are constantly changing. While millions of tourists still visit China each year, the experience is increasingly one of walking on eggshells, with the ever-present fear that you might accidentally offend the wrong person or break an obscure rule. It's a destination that's as fascinating as it is fraught with potential pitfalls. 9. India India is a country of incredible diversity and beauty, but it's also a place where tourists can sometimes feel unwelcome. This isn't necessarily due to government policies, but rather a complex mix of cultural differences, overcrowding, and safety concerns. In certain regions, particularly those less accustomed to foreign visitors, tourists can encounter hostility or indifference. Issues like harassment, particularly for solo female travelers, and scams targeting tourists, have also contributed to India's reputation as a challenging destination. Despite its rich cultural heritage and numerous attractions, India can be overwhelming for those who aren't prepared for the realities of traveling there. It's a place that demands respect and understanding, but it's also one where the tourist experience can be far from smooth. If you're planning a trip to India, it's essential to be aware of these challenges and to approach your journey with both caution and an open mind. 10. France It might come as a surprise, but France, one of the most visited countries in the world, has a reputation for being less than welcoming to tourists. 
The French are known for their strong cultural pride, and tourists who don't make an effort to speak the language or understand local customs can find themselves met with cold shoulders. Paris, in particular, has been cited in numerous surveys as one of the most unfriendly cities for tourists. Complaints about rude service, unhelpful locals, and the general sense that tourists are a nuisance are common. However, this perception often comes from misunderstandings between cultures. The French value politeness and respect for their traditions, and tourists who show a genuine interest in the culture are usually treated well. But if you come with the expectation that everyone will cater to your needs in English, you might find France to be less than accommodating. It's a reminder that even the most popular destinations can have their challenges, especially when cultural expectations aren't met. And there you have it, the countries where tourists are anything but welcome. Whether it's due to strict regulations, cultural differences, or political tensions, these destinations pose unique challenges for travelers. But remember, understanding the reasons behind these attitudes can help you navigate your travels with greater awareness and respect. If you found this video eye-opening, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more travel insights. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Safe travels and see you in the next video.